Uh, the big attraction is the quality of the people that come to this meeting. You've got people from all over the world, people from uh, large pharmaceutical companies, small pharmaceutical companies. It's a very broad audience. So I work on biologicals and work on vaccines, and this is a good platform where the academia and industry come together and exchange ideas. Well, so this is the only conference I know around that brings in all the people working in pharmaceutical industry in the biotechnology area together and shows the latest science where new modalities has come, you know, like new molecules and how it behaves and a lot of recent breakthroughs in clinical trial results. So it captures everything from discovering a drug all the way to how it responded in clinic. So you get so much, like within three days your head is exploding with knowledge. You go home and you just, you know, have so many ideas and motivation. So I think I always come every year. This is one of the conference I always mark in my calendar. Uh, actually, I'm a graduate student and uh, I'm looking for an entry-level job. So this is a really good place to make a new connection, meet with the uh, people from both academia and the industry. We should expand this just beyond pharmaceutical industry and pharmaceutical schools. I think biochemists and the molecular biology people uh, is a good audience for this conference as well. Biotechnology is at the center of everything. I mean, you need to know biology, chemistry, as you said, engineering. See, like, for example, we are making vaccines and we synthesize polymer, which is chemistry, and we engineer nanoparticles, little bit of engineering, of course, a lot of biology. So it, this is, I think this is the right place for, as an interface for all those things to come and come collectively together and collaborate and come up with a better ideas. I think uh, it's broad enough but specific for the biologics so you know a lot of us attend AAPS national meeting too it's even broader and and, uh, and deep as well but I think here we can get in deep to the biologics the different, different aspects and focus on those the complexities of those modalities. Once you're you've been working with something for a while uh, in my mind and I think a lot of others one of the greatest things you can do is tell other people about it and tell them what you've learned. I presented today had lots of great dialogue both on a business level and scientific level it's uh, it's really the uh, kind of perfect size uh, forum for for scientists and managers such as myself so have you utilized the career board yeah I, I do utilize the career board I see a couple of uh, new opportunity there so I'll go and apply for those we've had students coming to our um, to to come and talk with us um, and again it's very good because it's it's also trying to help them understand what opportunities there are there um, after after uh, after the studies after university and college what makes you want to come back uh, we're a CRO and a lot of our customers come here so it's very good for having discussions around current projects future projects etc we we do meet uh, lots of uh, clients for from all over the world this this being an in, an international meeting so it's been really good uh, just just reconnecting with current clients as well as new potential clients. I'm from university, I'm a professor at a university. For me that guy kind of gives a direction where the whole pharma industry is heading, where I can focus and to get the feel of where the whole field is heading and what are the challenges they're facing. Now this gives me a very good uh, indication. And how do you like San Diego? Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love the weather. <laughs> it's a great place to have the meeting, um, great location, um, and uh, yeah, it just makes people very happy. <laughs> and um, are you planning on coming back next year? Absolutely, yes. Wonderful. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.